this is a continuation of um, the previous video on volume and capacity this form part on the topic of surface area and volume of 3d objects so number four um, of activity 17.2 you have to calculate the volume of each of these objects so in this particular case we have in fact a triangular prism as we have a triangle on both sides so we can turn this shapes or solid so that the triangle is at the bottom and at the top and it's connected by uh, rectangular faces so in order to calculate the volume we know we have to firstly calculate the area of the base so since the base is a triangle it will be half base times height and then we still have to multiply by the perpendicular height or peak H. So this is the formula to calculate the volume of a triangular prism. First it's the area of the triangle as the base and then multiply by the perpendicular height. So let's see what information we are given. Well, so first thing that I see is we have millimeters and centimeters so we will have to convert either millimeters to centimeters or centimeters to millimeters so what we <coughs> do know is one centimeter is equal to 10 millimeter so wherever we see centimeter we can actually replace with 10 millimeter so therefore 2,5 in the place of centimeter we have 10 millimeter will give us 25 centimeter in fact oh, not centimeter sorry millimeter so we have 25 millimeter so now it seems this 25 millimeter is also equal to the height so we can now substitute into our formula so we have half what is the base of the triangle 144 millimeter and then we still have to multiply by the height of the little triangle which is 25 millimeter and finally we have the perpendicular height that connects the two triangular bases and that is peak H which is also 25 millimeter so now it's simply a matter of multiplying so we have 144 144 times 0.5 or a half times 25 times 25 which will result in 45,000 and millimeter times millimeter times millimeter is millimeter to the power three so it's 45,000 cube millimeters so number four C let's see we have here two triangles we have the big triangle and then we have a gap with a small triangle so again we are dealing with a triangular prism so again we can put the triangle 
at the bottom and then there will be a triangle on top and it is connected by a rectangular faces the triangles the two triangles so again it will be exactly the same formula so the volume is half base times height of the triangle and then we still have the big height this distance here is the big edge the distance that connects the two triangles perpendicular height is big H okay so now let's study the okay well now the thing is that's the big one if he, if there wasn't a small one cut out of it so we have to take the whole big one and then we will have to subtract the volume of the small one which is also a triangle so it's also half base small h times big h so now <laughs> let's first look at the big one so let's see everything seems to be in centimeters so we don't have to convert between units it seems like we have sides that are the same so this is also five centimeter and this is also five centimeter so since in total it's 15 5 10 15 so then we see the perpendicular height is 13 centimeter in totality whereas for the small one it's 4,33 okay so let's first look at the big one so the base is the 15 centimeter so in the place of b for base we have 15 centimeter the height of the big triangle the perpendicular height that meets at a 90 degree with the base is 13 centimeter and then we still have the big height the distance between the two triangles which is one centimeter and now we can subtract the small triangle so the base here is now the five centimeter so replace the B with five centimeter the height of the small triangle 90 degree base meets with a height of 4,33 centimeter and then we also have then the one centimeter distance between the two triangles so yeah yeah we have the one centimeters so now it's simply a matter of calculating so let's first look at the big one so we have 0 0.5 or half times 15 times 13 times 1 which is 97,5 cube centimeter centimeter times centimeter times centimeters cube centimeter minus let's look at the small one 0 0,5 times 5 times 4 <laughs> comma three three times one is ten comma eight two five cube centimeter so if we subtract ten comma eight two five from ninety seven comma five 
we obtain a result of 86,675 cube centimeter to three decimal places. Let's look at number five. We have a flower bed. It's in the shape of an isosceles triangle that has a base of 8,4 meter and a perpendicular height of 4,2 meter. The existing soil is unsuitable for planting and must be dug out to a depth of 0, 0,75 meter. How much soil must be dug out? Express, express your answer in cubic meters to two decimal places. Okay, so we basically know that the volume is equal to the area. In this case, we have a triangular area or triangular shape rather, which we know the base, well, the, it's a triangular prism, so the base of is a triangle. So the base, we want the area of the base, which is half base times height times the big height. In other words, the distance connecting the two triangular portions. So, therefore, we can now substitute. So, we have half in the place of the base. We have 8,4 meter. In the place of the small h, we have 4,2 meter and now we have a 0, 0,75 big H so it's simply a matter of multiplying these three so 0, 0,5 or half times 8,4 times 4,2 times 0, 0,75 results into 13,23 cube meter. So number six, the concrete base of a statue is in the shape of a triangular prism. The base of the triangle is 1,5 meter and the perpendicular height of the triangle is 0, 0,8 meter. The height of the prism is 0, 0,75 meter. How many cubic meters of concrete did the body use to make the slab? Give your once you correct to two decimals places. So this is again fairly straightforward. It's just in word uh, format, but um, basically they give you all the information. We know it's triangular prism, so the base is a triangle. We calculate firstly the area of the base, which is half base times small h for the triangle. Then we still need the distance between the two triangles, which is big H. So now it's simply a matter of substitution. So the base is 1,5 meter. Small height is 0, 0,8 meter. And the big height is 0, 0,75 meter. Then it's a matter of 
using the calculator to multiply. So it's 0, 0,5 times 1,5 times 0, 0,8 times 0, 0,75, which results in 0, 0,45 meter times meter times meter is cube meter. And it is in fact in two decimal places. So your task is to attempt exercise 17.2, number 4B.